Hello, and welcome to this video, which provides more information about the specific learning methodology and outcomes of our Smart Factory. The automatic Smart Factory allows students to gain experience of a number of processes and technologies that you are likely to see in modern day manufacturing. In this video, we highlight and analyze the different areas of the Matrix Smart Factory and the associated learning outcomes. The Matrix Smart Factory is a great way to continue learning about PLC programming. It assumes prior knowledge of PLC programming and contextualizes the learning put into the programming into a real world scenario of a modern manufacturing setting. Matrix are educational partners with Siemens and the user may opt to purchase our Siemens control add-on. This allows students to control the hardware within the Smart Factory with a Siemens S7-1200 which is supplied connected to a DIN rail and with the necessary adapter modules. For this, users will require Simatic Step 7 Siemens software which can be sourced locally through Matrix or your local Matrix partner. Another way of programming the Smart Factory is by using our Mayak control add-on. Here, we supply two of our DSPIG Mayak PLC controllers. These are educational PLCs aimed at younger students and are programmed using our software flow code. It is also possible to control the Smart Factory using other PLCs of your own choice should you prefer to use a different PLC. The first area within the Smart Factory we will look at is the gantry system. The gantry system has three pneumatic inputs. These control the head going up and down and the other is for the vacuum which is on the head of the gantry via a bellows suction cup which allows for movement and forgiveness when picking up items. The gantry is driven by a stepper motor driver which is connected via tooth pulley cable which can pull the head left and right. There is a home limit switch on the side of the gantry to allow for accuracy. The head moves from left to right on two linear ball bearings and precision rods. In the base of the gantry is a PCB which controls the stepper motor and the limit switch with the 6x4mm banana plug connectors which connect the gantry to the PLC. Below the gantry is a Stell racking which holds the counters. The main learning outcomes for students when programming the gantry is the understanding of how to drive the stepper motor which moves the head left to right and the learning about the homing switch and how to use this. Students will also understand the pneumatic plunger and how to turn suction on and off etc. How to program the PLC to deliver counters to the conveyor system is also learnt about by students. Another area of learning is based around the conveyor system, which is a 60 by 500 mil long conveyor belt which can run at up to 0.9 meters per second. This is controlled by a DC motor via planetary gearbox. The DC motor connects to the PLC via 4 mil connectors. On the conveyor system, users utilize two laser light gates and inductive and capacitive sensors, which are all connected to the user's PLC. The conveyor system also works in unison with two paddle reject mechanisms, each controlled using pneumatic valves and the PLC connectors. Another part of our offering is our all-code robot arm production cell. This is an optional addition to Smart Factory but completes the learning objectives for the user. Whilst the robot arm is a standalone product with vast amounts of learning associated with manufacturing engineering, robotics, kinematics, etc., it also ties in perfectly with the Smart Factory and really adds a lot to the learning and the experience of using this product. The robot arm has three degrees of movement, base, shoulder and elbow rotation, plus functional gripper. It delivers fast, accurate and repeatable movement. The robot arm also features inbuilt Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and CAN bus communications. The arm allows for many techniques and skills that you would see within a modern manufacturing setting. The robot arm sits alongside a colour sensor and count and moves counters according to their colour or alternatively with multi-factory setup from one smart factory to another. The industrial learning outcomes associated with the robot arm include investigating the workspace, pendant and G-code programming, sorting, picking and placing and kinematic calculations. Once the user has explored all of the individual components within the Smart Factory, the next level of learning is designing and putting together the complete Smart Factory. The modular design means the layout and how you put your factory together is completely up to you. Students program the PLCs to control the complete Smart Factory or even several Smart Factories working as one larger scale operation. 
As you can see, the Smart Factory is a fantastic and engaging way for students to put their PLC programming knowledge into a real-life industrial environment. To find out more or contact us, visit our website at matrixtsl.com 